do-it-yourself power supply repair. These are quick and easy expert instructions to repair even the most complicated power supply failure without the need for learning tons of theory or all the complicated test equipment. This book was designed to follow a specific purposeful troubleshooting process. It's designed to determine if a power supply is able to be repaired and if it is then exactly how to do it. To complete this process accurately, it's not necessary to have a solid foundation in electronic theory, though it's helpful, nor is it necessary to have excellent soldering skills or a detailed understanding of the precise operation of electronic equipment. Following this procedure will get you reliable repairs 85% of the time when followed and full test equipment is not used or dynamic testing is not even possible. But if you have full test equipment resources and the capability to fully dynamic test the equipment, then you'll find the fault 95% of the time. The book will cover all the equipment you'll need. It'll cover the minimal equipment you'll have to have, plus it'll cover the equipment you'll want to upgrade to. It'll even give you a list of all the equipment you'll need if you want to have your own complete electronics lab. It covers the basic block diagram of the power supply in just enough detail to give you a basic understanding to even the most unfamiliar layman to power supplies. It goes through a detailed and thorough visual inspection of the power supply, which is absolutely critical to troubleshooting and diagnosing the faults within this equipment. You see, many problems can be found with a detailed visual inspection, and this is one of the most important steps and often the most overlooked part of the troubleshooting process. You see, you must fully disassemble and, and inspect the equipment. A partial disassembly is not enough. So by taking your time and not rushing this part of the process will get this crucial part of the troubleshooting process taken care of so that nothing is missed. It will go over 16 different portions of the process such as previous solder work, correct component installation, cracked solder joints, cleanliness, structural integrity, just to name a few, and here's even an example of the detail that each process goes through and the number of pictures that this book uh, does cover. So if a picture is worth a thousand words, then this book has tremendous value to you. It's going to go over cleaning methods. You see, cleanliness is very important for power supplies because they're operated in, in many occasions very close to their power capacity. And this capacity is based a lot on their ability to dissipate heat. See, heat transfer from the many heat sinks on power supplies is directly affected by dirt and dust because they insulate the heat sink and reduce the heat transfer capacity of the equipment. So they need to be cleaned, and the type of cleaning depends on just how dirty they are. And this book goes in detail on every single um, way to clean the power supplies. The next chapter in the book goes through static testing. It's a thorough static check of the operation of all the individual components within each electronic assembly. See, this means we're going to test each and every individual board level component on the power supply and use many different types of test equipment, which we went through in the very beginning of the book. Again, this results in roughly 85% of the faults being determined in this, this check. We'll even have a static testing procedure template for you to download and you can print up on your own and use for other power supply troubleshooting. The book fully covers component rem removal and replacement from the most basic of components all the way down to surface mount soldered and desoldered. Gives you tips and tricks on how to do these things very easily so even without extensive uh, soldering experience you can still do that in a real competent manner. It covers basic soldering and desoldering in enough detail to where you can, in fact, replace components, even with no experience doing this. We're going to give you detailed tips on part removal so that you get all the tips and tricks right up front and don't have to learn these on your own. It's going to go through dynamic testing, which means power up the power supply and test all of its functions so you'll know that it operates correctly. So the only way to get this is to go to do it yourself powersupplyrepair.com and get a copy of this book. Again, do it yourself, powersupplyrepair.com. Thank you.